Well, good day to all of you and welcome back. Praise the Lord. Glad to be back with you all today. Praise the Lord. Jesus is the high priest and apostle. Praise the Lord. Yesterday we talked about Jesus, the prophet. Today we're going to talk about Jesus, the high priest and the apostle. Amen. God bless you. God bless you as you're joining in. God is good all the time and all the time he is good. Amen. He is the Alpha and the Omega. Jesus is the Alpha and the Omega, which means he's the beginning and the end. He is the beginning and the end. Amen. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. From in Revelation, the book of Revelation and in verse um, chapter one, verse eight, it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, the one who is, the one who was, and the one who is to come, the Almighty. We serve the Almighty King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Amen. Glory to God. The all-powerful one, the omnipotent one. He is the I am who I am, according to um, Exodus 3.14. The I am who I am, right? He is the one who is, the one who was, who is, and who is to come. The almighty God. Glory to God. So Jesus, the high priest and the apostle. The apostle of all apostles. Jesus. Wow. In Hebrews, I want to, I'm taking this from Hebrews today, chapter 3. So if you want to write that, that down, Hebrews 3, 1 and 2, and this is what it says. It says, Therefore, holy brethren, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our confession, Christ Jesus. Consider, it says, he says, all of you, he says, brethren, Partakers of the heavenly calling. That's all of you. We are partakers of the heavenly calling. And it says, consider the apostle of all apostles, the apostle and the high priest, the high priest of all priests, right? The high priest of our confession, Jesus Christ. It's whom we confess. It's whom we speak. It's the name we speak. It's the name we shout out, right? Jesus. The, the one we pray to in the name of Jesus. The one that we adore. The one that we highly esteem. Jesus is our apostle and high priest. An apostle, as an apostle, Christ is God's representative to his people. And as a high priest, he is their representative to God. So Jesus, both, he, he is both God's spokesman and our representative to God. The high priest and the apostle. Amen. Just as yesterday we spoke of Jesus as the prophet. Jesus as the prophet. And and, and we talked all about that yesterday. It was a powerful teaching. If you missed it, I encourage you to go back and listen to it. I love this series of the names of Jesus because, you know, we're going, we're going through, we're taking our time and we're going through the different, the different names. And we know his names, um, they, they represent his attributes, his character, right? And we know that when we, when we see, when we look at his names, we know that his name the meaning of his name and the names, uh, they represent who he is to us. We serve, we serve a high priest. We, we serve, we, we serve the apostle of all apostles, the prophet of all prophets, right? The king of all kings, the Lord of all, all lords. We, we serve, he is the, the highest order. He, he is, you know, the, the strongest power. Like we serve the almighty God. And his name is Jehovah. His name is Savior. His name is God Almighty. Amen. Incredible. It's incredible because we get to come under that anointing. We get to come under our good shepherd. We get to come under and receive from who he is and that impartation of who he is and then carry that out because as he is so are you in this world so we get to come under this holy holy vessel and say wow lord you went to the cross for me so that i can now walk in representation of who you are 
It's pretty powerful when you get a revelation of who Jesus is and who he's called you to be because he imparts unto you that of who he is. So for those that have an ear to hear, let them hear. For those, right? For those that have an ear to hear, hear the truth, the depths of who you are. There is nothing that you can't do if God has already called you to it. Right? You can do all things through Christ who, who, who strengthens you, who's called you. He, he, you can do all things through Christ who gives you strength. When What you're called to, you will do. Well, you're called to a pretty supernatural life. You're called to live an exuberant life full of grace, full of power, full of, full of the attributes of Christ which is why we're going through these attributes, the names of Jesus. There is no one else and nothing else that you could serve or give your life to that would be as glorious and as, as important as giving your life to Jesus and serving him and him only. The great I am. I am that I am. What did God tell Moses when he said, you know, who do I say? Who do I say sent me? I am. He is the great I am. Jesus is the great I am. The one who was, the one who is, and the one who's to come. The great I am. The high priest. The apostle of all apostles. And we know that he is interceding for us. And he takes our prayers. He takes, he takes the, the very words that come, the, even, the, even the groanings. Sometimes your prayers are more like a groan. Sometimes it's a heartfelt prayer and it's such a prayer of the heart without a word. Sometimes it's the tears. There are liquid prayers. But he takes our prayers and he is interceding for you. Because he's our high priest. He's interceding for you. He is our high priest. Glory to God. You are not alone. No matter what you do, literally, who who is on who who is right there covering you, right by your side. But Jesus Christ, the King of all kings, the high priest and our apostle. Oh, thank you, Father. No matter what, where can we go? Where can we go without his spirit? The psalmist said in the in, in the book of Psalms, you know, King David, where can I go? You can't hide from God. He sees you. He is El Roy. He sees you. He knows who you are. He knows who he's called you to be. He knows who you are even before you do. Even before you have received a revelation of the goodness of God within you working working out, you know, your your salvation with fear and trembling, even before you have received that revelation that you are not what you feel, you are not a byproduct of your past, although there is a there is some truth to that. Who you really are is who God's called and appointed you to be. And when your eyes are set on that, you actually walk into that. Isn't that true? What an incredible gift in serving the King of Kings. And you, my beloved, every one of you that are called by his name, are here to represent Jesus, our high priest and our, our apostle of all apostles. As a believer, you represent him. And it's beautiful, it's incredible. So when you get a revelation of who he is, then you have the revelation of who you are in him. When you get a revelation of who he is, then you get a revelation of who you are in him. And that's so incredibly important. Because you're not just in this world trying to make it. That's a lie. You're victorious. You've already overcome. You're already are, you already are an overcomer. You're not trying to overcome. You're not trying to have a breakthrough. You are the breakthrough because of Christ in you. When you have a revelation of who you are because of who Christ is, everything in your life changes. If your perspective changes, then everything in your life changes. You're the head and not the tail. Come on, you're above and not beneath. You're the lender, not the borrower. Deuteronomy 28 spells it out for us. To walk in the blessing is to know who you are in Christ. Not in and of yourselves, but in Christ. In Christ, 
the wealth, the riches, his glorious presence, all are contained within a vessel that wants to give him glory. That's you and I. That is you and I. It's incredible. This walk that we have. Sometimes we say, oh, we're the hands and feet of Jesus, which is so very true. But we're also seated with him in the heavenly places. Take up your heavenly position. Take up your kingly position because this is who you are. You are ruling and reigning now, not just one day when Jesus returns, because there are powers and principalities that are trying to rule over you, but you are to rule over them now. So you're actually ruling and reigning now over the powers and principalities because you belong to the King of Kings. You belong to Jesus, our high priest and our apostle, our prophet and our judge, our advocate and our savior. He is the way, he is the truth, he is the life, he is the branch, he is the door, he is the good shepherd, he is the good father, he is the bishop of your souls. He is incredible. He is compassionate, he is loving, he is our wonderful counselor, amen? We can go on and on and on. Praise the Lord, so good. He is amazing. Hallelujah. Yes, you are victorious, Joyce. A lender, not the borrower, and the righteousness of Christ, amen, is in you. You are ruling and reigning with him. That's right, Connie. Amen. Right now. Because sometimes we think, oh, we're going to rule and reign when Jesus returns, which is true. But we rule and reign now. If you could only get that perception, if you only have the eyes to see, Jesus said, I give you all authority. So that means, and, and he's talking now. He says, I give you all authority. I give you authority. I give you power over snakes and scorpions and over everything, or over, over all evil. He's talking now. He's talking about now. So you rule and reign now over those powers and principalities. And when you have the mindset of who Christ is in you, then you know who you are in Christ. It's pretty incredible. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. We give you all the praise and all the glory and all the honor. Yesterday, during our live, we had some incredible testimonies that came about because of our live. We had those healings that came about. We had... Um, we had about, let's see if I wrote them down someplace. Here they are. Okay. We had ringing in the ears. We had um, three people that were healed of ringing in the ears. Mary, Cecilia, and Connie. Three people that got healed yesterday on, on the live of ringing in the ears. Praise the Lord. And then we had two people that testified of being healed of sciatic pain. Deborah and, and, and um, Mar Mary, Mary, or Marie. It was Marie. Uh, Deborah and Marie, two people that were healed of sciatic pain. Glory to God in the highest. Hallelujah. Isn't that incredible? So just from our lives, um, you know, we just were praying. So I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to move into prayer right now for a few moments. Um, so if there is something specifically that you need prayer for, please just write it in the chat bar. Uh, God is the healer. Remember, he does, he's not limited by space or time. He's with us. He's with us everywhere we go. He's so good. Yes, Deborah says, thank you, Abra, uh, Abba. Uh, yeah, Deborah says, thank you, Abba. Uh, Deborah was healed of sciatic pain yesterday. Oh, how he loves us. Yes, we boast all the more of his glory. That's right, Gina. We will boast of his glory all the more. We will boast of him. We don't boast in and of ourselves, but we will boast of his glory. We will boast of his goodness. We're in love with the king. We're in love with the king. Um, let's see. Julia Mayer says, pray for my husband, my husband's mind and, and marriage. Okay. We'll pray for your husband. We'll pray for your, um, for your marriage. Um, Julia. Oh, thank you, father. And anybody else? Oh, Karen, your back and your hip and your neck. Okay, sure. So let's go ahead and pray for that right now. And you guys just put things in the chat bar and I will try to be looking so that I can, I can catch them. But remember now, you know, even if I'm praying for somebody else, the power to heal is present. 
even if I don't mention you by name or pray specifically for that which you need, the power to heal is present. When the power to heal is present, you get healed because it is Christ in us, the hope of glory. It is the power of Christ moving. It is, and when he moves, he doesn't need the detailed version of what you need healed because he already knows it. So don't worry if, oh my goodness, she didn't call my name. She didn't mention what I need. God already knows it. And the power to heal is present. Amen. Uh, Brenda, I see, I see your, your request regarding your neck. I need prayer for your neck. And then Catalina, you said, um, liver disease and it's hereditary. It's gotten worse. Let's see here. <laughs> kind of like twist over here a little bit. Um, All right, so Father, I just start lifting them up right now. Thank you, Father God. Thank you, Jesus. You are the healer. You are the divine healer. You are the healer, the healer. Father God, you are Jehovah Rapha. You are the physician above all physicians. Lord God, I lift up. Lord God, I lift up each and every person here on today's live. Lord, I thank you, Father, that you are touching their bodies right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Father God, I decree healing over them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you just as you did yesterday and you touched them, Lord God. Father God, I, he I decree healing over their body and restoration of their marriages. Lord, right now, those that need restoration in their marriages. Father, I thank you, Lord God, touching minds right now, touching minds, bringing healing and restoration to minds right now. We rebuke the fowler we command that devil to be under our feet in the name of jesus we eradicate every double every spirit of double-mindedness every spirit of anger hatred abuse unforgiveness judgment we just rebuke it and cancel it right now we speak this the love of god in marriages father god we speak the compassion of the lord in our marriages right now in the mighty name of jesus and father i lift up those that need healing in their body right now father you are the healer and by your stripes we are healed so we decree it right now father god for legs and backs necks to be healed to be strengthened right now father god ah shonorobo say liver disease we rebuke that 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 assignment oh that it's hereditary and that it's gotten worse no in the name of jesus we decree that when you said yes to jesus that's the blood of jesus that started flowing through your your veins you have a new DNA, and, and I thank you, Lord God, that what's hereditary is life. What's hereditary is abundance. What's hereditary now is healing. What's hereditary now is God's wholeness. So, Father, we just reverse any curse that, that the enemy tried to bring upon her. We cancel all generational curses. We decree right now that any generational curse of, of sickness and, and hereditary um, liver disease it goes right now we are rested in the name of Jesus we speak healing over your body in the name of Jesus healthy healthy liver in the name of Jesus father thank you for purifying and cleansing her liver father God we decree um, pain in the back pain in the hips pain in the neck it needs to go right now all stiffness all 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 um, just all, all pain needs to go right now down to the root of whatever is going on and the why. Thank you, Lord God, for healing the why. I take authority over the fear, over fear, over stress, over intimidation, over triggers, things happening and, and you're literally being triggered. I take authority over the triggers in the name of Jesus. I say enough, enough leave now we uproot every place where you're being triggered where the enemy is bringing um, a, a past something of the past that's stirring up right now unhealed areas causing pain and stress and torment within the body tormentor go right now in the name of jesus it is the goodness of the lord it is his mercy it is his character it is his nature to, to bring healing because he's already paid the price with his own precious blood so father we apply it right now and i speak peace over your bodies peace over your bodies over your minds over your marriages in the name of jesus and i speak healing over you right now receive receive it receive it receive it in the name of jesus receive it receive it thank you lord receive it now right now i just want to um i want you to go ahead and start checking your body start checking your body start checking your body and put in there what god just did Put in there what the Lord just did. Tell me what he just did. You cannot, you cannot be in an anointed uh, service 
you know, where the power of God is present to heal and not receive unless you're blocked, unless you're, you know, purposely saying, nope, don't want it. Nope, you do want it or you wouldn't have put that in the chat bar. So receive right now. Receive. Thank you, Lord. Just say, Holy Spirit, I receive from you right now the fullness of what you are, have already purchased. I receive my healing right now. Just come into agreement with what I'm saying. Just Holy Spirit, I receive it right now. Thank you, Father. Healing is mine. That's my portion. It's my it's my birthright. Healing is mine. Just lift your arms up right now. Just say, wow, I receive it right now. Let the, let the glory of God, let his grace, let his presence, let him wash over you. Let him fill you. Let him, let him fill you right now. All pain go right now. Yes, Lord, stiffness go right now. Yeah, you're receiving it right now. Amen. Amen. Somebody's getting something shifting right now in many of you. The shift, I can feel the shift even as we just started saying, lift your hands up and just ask him, just tell him, I receive it, I receive it, I receive it. And even as you're saying, I receive this right now, Holy Spirit, by the hand of God, I receive your healing right now. Somebody's being touched right now. Wow, the glory of God is filling you right now. You can feel it like liquid love. It's just like this liquid warmth, like this warmth going through your body. That's God touching you. That's God healing you right now. Connie says, I saw a flashback, a flash of my childhood yesterday, so I knew where my trigger came from. It's a tormenting spirit, and that, that spirit was revealed. Hallelujah. Um, uh, Brenda, I don't understand what you're trying to say. I felt a lossless. I'm not sure what, what you meant to say there. Healing in the heart. Yes. Yes. Um, Connie, that's powerful. You had that revelation yesterday, that flash. So tormenting spirit, we rebuke it and we command it to go right now. Are you saying you have, Brenda, are you saying you have less pain in your neck? I'm not sure what you're trying to say. My neck loss. That's what it says. My neck loss. So I'm not sure. Oh, loose. Okay. So it's being loosed. Okay. It's loosening up. Praise the Lord. Okay. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. More, Father. More, Lord. More. Yeah. And any triggers, we just rebuke it right now in the name of Jesus. Yes. All, all witchcraft spirits. Oh, don't worry, Brenda. All witchcraft spirits in the name of Jesus. We just take authority over it right now. We command all spirits of witchcraft to go in the name of Jesus. Every tormentor, every lying scheme, every offender. We just rebuke it, which I'm referring to demonic spirits that are trying to bring in an offense, which would keep in sickness and, bi and binding it in there within you. No, we just rebuke the, that offender. G yes, that enemy is, is an offender. Jesus, we thank you. You... You've given us the authority and the power to call these things out, to trample on snakes and scorpions. And we're trampling upon them right now in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord God. You are the healer, the restorer. Thank you, Father. Now, somebody else, I want you to start checking your body. <laughs> um, and I want you to go ahead and tell me right in the chat bar what's going on. Yeah, it's a horrible spirit, and the offender must go. In the name of Jesus, we we speak the fire of God to that to that offender, which is that spirit of offense the enemy tries to bring. We just rebuke that thing, that tormentor spirit. We command it, the fire of God right now to destroy it. In the name of Jesus, yeah, the enemy tried to stop you from hearing this. Uh, uh huh. I know, but but God, right, Brenda? Amen. But God, all demonic activity is paralyzed. Yes, Mary, in Jesus' name, in complete agreement. Yeah. Thank you, Father. He is He is our wonderful Savior. He is our incredible, incredible God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Start checking your body right now. Those that said you had need of prayer. We had backs. We had necks. We had, um, what else do we have? Marriages. We prayed for marriages. Jean, I see your prayer need here for a friend who is getting anxious because she has out of her home by the end of the month and you okay so we uh, we are just in agreement with you Gina as you pray for your friend and we just take authority over anxiety which is fear we rebuke the spirit of fear and we Lord God just come into agreement that God, who knows the number of our days and who directs our steps, our footsteps, he directs our footsteps, is directing her footsteps right now and leading her in paths of righteousness. Thank you, Father. 
All right, so how are we doing here? Let me check, because then I gotta go, because I've gotta get her ready. Stiffness, okay, Karen says, uh, stiffness in her neck is gone. Glory to God, amen, Karen. Praise God, stiffness in your neck. Thank you, Connie. You know, I'm so grateful to the Lord for everything he does. Uh, Brenda, okay, migraines. Oh, from your sons, okay. Father, we thank you, we trust you right now. Migraines, leave, thing of the past. Knees, very painful, uh, legs, knees and legs for Dana. Thank you, Lord God, thank you for touching her. We laugh at the enemy, hallelujah. Just like Jesus laughs at the enemy. Yes, we laugh at the enemy. Karen, your right side of your hip is still hurting. Okay, so Father, we lift up Karen right now. Lord, I thank you that that the um, ne stiffness in her neck is gone, but we just speak over that right side of her hip, and we decree healing. <coughs> God bless you. Healing in the name of Jesus. Little sunflower, too sweet. I know, she's in her, she's in her PJs still. We haven't gotten dressed. She hasn't gotten dressed yet. But we're going to do that right away, right as we get done here. Right, baby girl? Yeah. But they are really cozy, these jemmies. Amen. Brenda says her neck feels better, too. Praise you, Jesus. Yes. Okay, let me just quickly read these. And then, thank you, Jesus. You're so good, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that even though um, that we, we need to, I need to go, um, I know that you're going to continue to touch these precious people, these precious people. Yes, we call that wallet back in, Dana. Whoever took the wallet, that conviction of the Lord fall upon them and that they return it without anything missing. That your wallet is returned in the name of Jesus. Okay, I have to go. My beautiful, beautiful people in the Lord I need to get her ready. But I will, um, God is already healing. Like if we just had like a few more minutes to just sit here because I know we'd get more testimonies that are coming in. But we know you're healed because we have the word of the Lord on it. We already know. Amen? Amen. Amen. That's right. We're in agreement. So, Brenda and Karen, um, next being healed, and the rest is coming in. So, um, even tomorrow, you can even just tell us tomorrow as well in the chat bar uh, when we join together tomorrow morning. All right. God bless you all. Um, have an amazing day. You are filled with His Spirit. And remember, Jesus is our high, he's our high priest and he is our apostle of all apostles. And he loves us with an incredible, incredible passion. And um, nothing compares, nothing compares. Okay, uh, Dana, sorry, these names. He says, Dana says, the wallet was placed in a gutter and returned it. And, and returned it, but they took money that was for a building fund. Okay, so Father, no one takes from a child of God. So if they took money out of that wallet, Father God, I thank you that when the enemy is caught, and he's caught, he's he's being exposed right now. He is he is to owe sevenfold, seven times as much. Father, we claim seven times as much as what was stolen. We thank you, Lord. You know exactly how to bless your daughter. In the name of Jesus. Okay. All right. Let's go. Um, all right. <clears throat> God bless you all. And um, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Blessings. Okay. Bye-bye.